Hi everyone, I have a reformer class for you today that will be a focus on intermediate slash advanced exercises. Um, so just know this one is gonna be a little more challenging. We're gonna start with your foot bars all the way down, one red spring, which is one heavy spring on your reformer. And then we're gonna start sitting on your reformers facing our straps. When we sit on our reformers, I rotated my shoulder blocks just so my legs can fit a little more comfortably through them. If you don't have shoulder blocks that rotate, you can always cross one leg over the other if they don't fit nicely. And then when we sit down, we're just gonna make sure that we have at least a palms width away from us in the backs of our carriage. We can have more than that, just no less than that. We're gonna start warming up with some roll downs. So I'm gonna grab my long loops into my hands. If you would like this a little easier, you can always grab onto those short loops. I'm gonna bring my fists into my sternum. Elbows are open out nice and wide to the sides of the room. We're sitting up nice and tall on top of our sits bones. On an exhale, I'm gonna tuck my pelvis and my tailbone towards my heels. And then I'm gonna to start to roll my spine down into my sacrum. So the lowest part of my back is gonna get down. I'm gonna take an inhale. And then on an exhale, I'm just gonna go up and over my legs and I'm gonna stack the spine back up, shoulders are down. Again, we're gonna tuck the pelvis, send the tailbone towards the heels, squeeze your glutes, get your lowest part of your back down, take an inhale here. And then on an exhale, we're gonna go up and over the legs, inhale, stack back up. We're gonna keep going. Now, when we roll back, a lot of times what I see is people think that they're if they get so far back into their springs, it's gonna be a lot more challenging. I do not want you to be here in your springs. I just want you to get to your sacrums, maybe a little more into your lumbar spine, so right above your sacrum. And then when we roll back, eyes are always going to be looking towards our core. So they're never looking up to the ceiling, they're not behind you. We're tucking, rolling, eyes kind of tracing that core. And we go roll back, take it in. Inhale, we're exhaling to go up and over the legs. Inhale, stack the spines back up. Let's do two more. Fist stay right into your sternum to the entire time. Again, exhaling as we go up and over. Inhale, stack the spine, shoulders are down. Last one, I'm gonna exhale, tuck, roll back, take an inhale, and then exhale, going up and over the legs, stacking the spine back up. Now, when we get up, we're gonna pause at the top. We're gonna move into like a little around the world. So the fists are gonna stay right to the sternum, elbows are gonna be open out nice and wide. I'm gonna hinge slightly to the right side of the room and rotate slightly to the right side. My left sits bones is staying down. I'm gonna tuck my pelvis, roll to the right side, I'm gonna pause, we're gonna go center, we're gonna rotate left, and then we're gonna come all the way back up to the left and center, fist stay right around your sternum, again to the right, tuck, roll to that right side, go center, left, and then come all the way back up and center. What I want you to think is your pelvis is staying still, you're moving from your spine right around that rib cage to make these circles, to get into our obliques. We're gonna do one more to the right. Tuck, roll, center, left, and then come all the way back up and center. Then we're gonna to go to the left. So I'm gonna hinge slightly to the left, rotate slightly to the left, tuck, roll to my left side, go center, right, and then we're exhaling to come all the way back up and center. Again, left on an exhale, then we inhale, we go center, right, and we exhale to come all the way back up and center. Let's keep going again with these, trying to move from the spine right around that rib cage. Try to keep those hips nice and heavy. This is the last one to the left. And then once we come back up, we're gonna pause. Now, arms are gonna go nice and long. We're gonna tuck our pelvis, roll back to your sacrums, hold yourselves here. On an exhale, I'm gonna lift my right leg up. I'm gonna inhale, set that leg down. Exhale, lift the left leg, inhale down. Keep the tuck of your pelvis here. Again, my low back or my sacrum is down into the mat, and then I'm keeping my arms long, but when I'm here, my shoulders are staying into their back pockets. Exhale to lift, inhale lower, engage those obliques, lift up, lower down, exhale lift, inhale lower. Let's go for four, three, two, 
and one. Then once we come down with that leg, we can sit ourselves up. Feel free to give yourselves a little bit of a stretch. We are going to scoot our butts a little further forward this time so we have a little more space behind us. Doesn't have to be a ton, just a little more space. All right, we're gonna bend our knees slightly. The heels are gonna go into the headrest. Arms are gonna stay long. I'm gonna tuck my pelvis, roll down to about my sacrum again. So not super far back, just that low flat part of your back is down. And then I'm gonna lift my right leg back up. It's gonna be nice and long. Hold here and then exhale, lift that left leg up nice and long for a little teaser. Now, if your hip flexors don't like this, you can bend your knees. Otherwise, if you feel fine, extend the legs. We're gonna hold this position. Scoop into your abs, keep that tuck of your pelvis for four. Shoulders are down, collarbones are wide, three two, one, and then I'm gonna bend my knees and just set my feet back down. Now, we're gonna go back into that teaser. We're gonna add in some arms. If you struggle with your balance, you can skip the arms or you can do one leg at a time, keep one foot down, one leg up. Again, if balance is an issue. Now, I'm gonna have my arms nice and long. Knees are slightly bent again to start. I'm gonna tuck my pelvis, roll myself back down to, again, that teaser S position. Reach your right leg, pause, take a deep inhale. Exhale, left leg, pause. Find your stability in your core. On an exhale, we're gonna pull our arms out to the sides. Woo, inhale back, out to the sides and back. Again, if you need to bend your knees, you can bend your knees. Think stability from that core. If you need to have one heel down and one leg up, you can always do one leg down, one leg up. If you have one leg down and up, go ahead and switch. Exhale, pull, inhale, release. Let's go for three. Abs are in for two, whoop, last one. And then we can relax our feet back down. Okay, once we come back down, we're gonna pause. I'm gonna extend my legs now nice and long through my headrest again. I still have that little space about a palm distance away from me in the back of my carriage. And we're gonna go in for just a little row. So I'm gonna keep my short loop or long loops into my hands. Arms are just gonna be nice and long. I'm sitting up nice and tall on top of my sits bones. On an exhale, I'm gonna press my palms back behind me. I'm gonna dive over my legs. And then from here, I'm gonna bend my elbows and bring my thumbs together into like my bra line. Abs are in towards our backs. Then I'm gonna open my arms wide out to the sides of the room. Imagine that your fingers can touch the walls. We reach our arms forward to our toes. We stack the spines up. We bring the fist right back to the sternum. We're gonna tuck this time. So I'm gonna tuck, roll back, hold, ready? Arms open out to the sides, palms are facing back. We're gonna dive this time up and over the legs, bend the elbows, bring the thumbs together to your bra line, and then we're gonna open the arms out to the sides room, reach those fingers to your toes, stack your spines, fist to your sternum. Again, we're rolling down, so we're gonna tuck, roll back, pause, open your arms out, palms face back. We're gonna dive over the legs, bend the elbows, thumbs together, think right around your bra line. We're opening the arms wide out to the sides. We bring the fingers to the toes. We stack fist to sternum. Let's do one more. Tuck and roll back. Open the arms, palms face back. Dive over your legs, bend your elbows, get your thumbs together. Abs should be into your backs. We open the arms wide. We reach those fingers to the toes. We stack our spines and we're gonna go ahead and hang our straps back up onto the pegs. Now, if you have shoulder blocks that rotate, go ahead, rotate them back to their position. Add on a light spring with your existing red, and we're going to lie ourselves down on short former. So one heavy, one light spring. Headrest can be up or down eventually. They will have to go down, but they can be up or down, that's up to you. Grab your straps again into your hands. Short loops are in your hands. Arms are gonna reach straight up to the ceiling, hands are right over our shoulders. Neutral spines, we pull our legs back up into a tabletop position. Legs are zipped together. Again, a neutral spine. On an exhale, I'm just gonna press curl up into an abdominal curl, and then I'm gonna inhale, return back down with control. Again, we're gonna exhale, not curl ourselves up, keep the legs zipped together. Inhale, return, maintaining that neutral spine every time I come up. Exhaling as I nod and curl. Inhale to return back down with control. Press, curl, return. We're gonna go for three more. Scoop into those low abs. 
Feel your rectus abdominis, so superficial core muscles. Now this next time we come up, we're gonna pause at the top. I'm gonna inhale, reach my right leg out towards the foot bar, exhale to pull in, left leg away, exhale back, inhale out, exhale in, single legs. I'm thinking about engaging my obliques to pull each leg back in, out, and exhale, inhale away, back. We have three. Hold your curls, I should be looking to your abs. Last one, now we stay here, we inhale, we reach both legs out. We scoop into our low abs to pull back in, inhale out, exhale in. Again, I'm drawing my core in and up, maintaining that neutral spine. When those legs come in, inhale out, Exhale back if your necks are an issue. Heads can always go down, otherwise hold your curl like me. Let's go for one more. Out and in. Now arms go up and feet do not go down. Keep them in your tabletop position. Adjust if you need to. Hold your neutral spines. We're gonna go back up into our ab curls. I'm gonna exhale, press curl up, pause. Palms are gonna to rotate towards our hips. We're gonna reach our right leg back out, but this time we open our arms out to a T. As I press my palms to my hips, I'm gonna pull back in. Left leg extends as we open, exhale back. Inhale out, exhale in, engaging again your core. Eyes looking to your abs, we're curled from your bra line. If your necks are an issue, those heads go down. This will be the last one on the left. Then double leg stretch, both legs out as we open those arms, both legs in. Open the arms, extend those legs, exhale back. The legs stay zipped together. Draw your abs in. Give me two. One, and return. Okay, you have the option to either keep your knees in a tabletop position or relax your feet down. I'm gonna keep mine in tabletop so that we can go right into this next exercise. Again, arms are gonna go up to the ceiling. If your feet are down, pick them up into your tabletop position. We're gonna press curl ourselves up, extend both legs out to a challenging level, palms rotated to your body. Inhale, open up both arms out to a T, press the palms of the hips. Legs stay long. They're zipped together. Abs are in, hold your curls open. Close, three, two, one and return. Okay, you have the option, just like me, to keep your knees in tabletop or relax your feet down. That is 100% up to you. Obviously, if you keep them in tabletop, it's gonna be a little more challenging. We're gonna move into arm circles with leg extensions and ab curls. So, knees in tabletop if they're not already, arms are up to the ceiling. I'm gonna press curl, extend my legs out, curl up. Open the arms, when we circle around and back up, knees in tabletop position, heads are down. So every time we press our arms down, we curl, we extend the legs. As we open the arms, we return the knees, the shoulders, and the head. Press, curl, extend. Inhale to return back. Exhale, press, curl, extend. Inhale as we return, curling right from our bra lines again. Let's go for two. Keep those legs zipped together. One, and return. Now once we return, pause. We're gonna reverse. So now we open the arms out to a T. As we press our palms to our hips, we nod, we curl, we extend the legs. We return the arms back up over the shoulders. Shoulders, heads down, knees, and tabletop. Out to your T. Press, curl, extend. Inhale, return. T, press, curl, extend. Return, let's go for four. Keep those legs together, three. And one. Ooh, okay. Relax the feet. We're gonna keep our straps. Now, if you have your headrest up, they're gonna go all the way down. I'm gonna go long loops onto my feet. Usually this exercise is done with short loops on your feet. I'm gonna go long just to make it a little more challenging. Both straps are gonna go onto your feet. Again, I'm going long. You can go short if you want it. It'll make it a tiny bit easier, not too much easier for you. 
and then we're gonna go into a little short spine massage. So I'm gonna bring my heels together, toes are turned apart. I'm gonna bend my knees in for like a starting frog position. Again, make sure that your headrests are down. On an exhale, we're gonna press our legs out. We're gonna lift them up and over so our spine lifts up. I wanna think I'm pointing my toes to the wall behind me. My carriage is gonna click home. Then from there, I'm gonna bend my knees, frog my feet in. I'm gonna keep my toes over my eyes and I'm gonna roll my spine down without my feet leaving that spot. Then when I can't go down anymore, my heels go to my glutes, I push out. We're gonna exhale, go up and over with those legs. Lift your spine, bend your knees, frog your feet. Then keep your feet, lose your seat and roll your spines back down. Again, we can push out, exhale up and over. Bend, frog, keep the feet, lose the seat, roll those spines all the way back down into the mat. Let's do two more. Bend, frog, keep that tension in your straps. Roll your spine, heels to glutes when you can't roll down anymore. Last one. Bend, frog, keep that tension in your ropes and then roll your spines back down. Now, if you came out of your shoulder blocks, you can scoot yourselves back in. I'm gonna grab my short loops back into my hands. Arms are gonna go up to the ceiling. Let's just bring those knees up into our tabletop position. Do not worry about your neutral spine. We're gonna move into a little overhead here. So I'm gonna extend my legs straight up to the ceiling with my arms, and then we're gonna pause. Legs are gonna go down to a little lower than a 45 degree angle, or maybe like a 45 degree angle hold. As I press my palms down to the mat, I'm gonna lift my legs to a 90, hold here. Then without momentum, we're gonna lift our butts just like your short spine. They're gonna go up and over. I'm gonna bring my legs parallel to the floor, squeeze my glutes. Now lift the legs up towards the ceiling, pause. And then as I roll my spine down, my legs are gonna go back parallel with the floor. When my butt gets down, arms go up, legs go to that 45, pause. The arms go down, the legs go to a 90. We hold without using momentum, ready? We go up and over. I'm bringing my legs parallel to the floor. Then from there, squeeze the glutes, lift your hips, point your toes up towards the ceiling. And then as I roll my spine back down into the mat, my legs are gonna go down as well. Arms up, legs 45, ready, pull down. Legs go up and over, squeeze those glutes, point those toes, lift those hips, roll the spines down one bone at a time. Let's do one more. Arms up, legs 45, press. We can just go up and over right away. Squeeze those glutes, point those toes, roll our spines down. And then the legs, can just stay straight up to the ceiling from here. When we bring our legs straight up to the ceiling, arms are gonna go back up to the ceiling as well. Neutral spines again, we're gonna press and curl up into one abdominal curl hold. Right leg is gonna lower straight down towards our foot bar. We exhale to lift, left leg lowers, exhale lift, so I inhale to lower, Exhale to lift, I'm engaging again my obliques to pull each leg back up. Arms stay at our sides, lower, lift. Try to hold the curl. We're gonna do one more right, one more left. Now hold here, we lower both legs down to a challenging level. We scoop into our low abs to lift, both legs lower. Both legs lift, I'm still holding my neutral spine. I wanna think all low abs, no low backs. If you feel it in your low back, shorten your range of motion. <sighs> Give me two more, lower and lift. Lower and lift. Bend the knees, arms up, heads down. Set your feet down and we are gonna go ahead and hang our straps up onto the pegs. Now, when we hang our straps up, we're gonna sit ourselves off to the sides of our reformers. Let's do a little glute work just to give our core a break. And then we will be going back into some core. So I'm gonna take off my yellow spring so I'm on a single red. We're gonna kneel on our reformers facing our straps. Just a simple glute exercise so we get a little lower body in here. I'm gonna grab my right strap, 
long loop goes onto the arch of your foot. Now, we're heavier than what I would usually have you at. If it is too heavy, go to one medium spring instead of this heavy. Four point kneeling, shoulders over the hands, hips are right over the knees, eyes are looking down to the floor, abs are into your backs. We're gonna push our right leg out and slightly up, bend back in, press little lift, and then my hips and my shoulders are staying parallel to the floor. I'm lengthening through the crown of my head. It's an exhale and an inhale. Again, if this is too heavy, go to a medium spring. Press a little lift and bend. Glutes and hamstrings. If the wrists are an issue, down onto your forearms. Exhale out and inhale back. Okay, now the next time we kick our leg out, we hold it back. We're gonna dip the toe straight down to the springs. We're gonna go straight up, down to the springs, lift. We dip, we lift, we dip, we lift. That leg stays straight the entire time. We should feel that glute max working to lift our legs up. Inhale down, exhale up, dip, lift. Let's go three, two, Last one. Now we bend the knee, we're gonna keep the right hand down. Our left form is gonna go down into our headrest. Externally rotate to the right. So toes, knees, hips, and shoulders should point slightly to the right side. My foot and my leg are parallel. My right foot and leg are parallel to the floor. And then ready, we're gonna press out and back in with that external rotation. Inhale. And exhale, we're gonna feel those glute meads working a little more with that external rotation. Press and bend, exhale, and inhale back. All right, I'm gonna go for three, two, and one. Okay, then once we come back in, we're gonna pause in. We're taking that strap off of our foot, hanging back up onto the peg. We have the same thing on the left side. So grab your long loop, goes onto the arch of your foot. And then again, if your wrists are an issue, you can drop down onto your forearms. Otherwise, shoulders over your hands, hips are right over your knees. Shoulders, hips parallel to the floor. Abs are in our backs. We're exhaling to kick that left leg out and slightly up, bending back in. Press a little lift and bend. Exhale and inhale again, thinking, scooping into your core, lengthening through the crown of the head here. So your eyes aren't just looking down to the floor, you're lengthening through your spine. So we're finding that oppositional pull of the body when we kick back. Let's go ahead and do four. Glute max hamstring, three. Okay, now on this last one, we hold our leg back. We go straight down, straight up, straight down, straight up. We dip, we lift, we dip, we lift. Squeeze those glutes. Really feel that glute max working here. Again, shoulders, hips stay parallel to the floor. Abs are into your backs. Inhale down, exhale up, four, three, two, one. Okay, bend and relax. Now, I'm gonna take my left hand a little more to the outside. Your right forearm goes down, externally rotate. Toes, knees, hips, and shoulders. My leg and my foot are parallel to the floor. We're gonna exhale, press that left leg out, and bend out, and in, press, and bend, exhale to push, inhale back in. Getting into, again, those smaller glute muscles right on the outside part of your butts, right around that hip. Let's go five, try to keep your foot and your leg parallel to the floor. Three, two, and one. Okay, relax that leg. We're gonna take our strap off of our foot. Now, when we take that strap off, we're gonna sit to the right side of our reformers and we're gonna move into a little snake and twist. So we're gonna stay on this red spring. I'm gonna go on, usually we would do this on your foot bar, but I 
might go onto my wooden platform. We'll see how I feel. I'll start on my foot bar. If you guys feel like you're too far away with your foot bars down, you can always take your foot onto your wooden platform. We're going to take your left foot onto the foot bar. I have a little external rotation of my leg. So my toes are pointed slightly out. And then once you get here, right hand goes to the shoulder block that's furthest away from you. Left hand goes onto the carriage and the hand should be right in line with each other. This is usually the tricky part for people is just getting up into this. So I'm gonna press into my left foot and I'm gonna take my right foot in front of my left just to go over. Now, on an inhale, we're gonna press the carriage away, we're gonna rotate the hips towards the floor, we're gonna lift our chest slightly up, and then we're gonna tuck, come back in. So every time we press out, the hips rotate towards the floor, we lift the chest, and then we come back and we rotate those hips. Inhale away, and exhale back. Inhale, press, rotate the hips towards the floor, lift the chest, rotate those hips as we come back in. Last one, out and in. Okay, step off for a second. We're gonna add in the little twist this time. We are not going all the way out. So same setup. Right hand on that shoulder block, left hand to the side. Right leg goes in front of your left. We press about halfway out, we hold. We dip the right hip down, we rotate the hips, we bring it back in, halfway out. Ready? Dip the right hip, rotate to the left, rotate the hips to the center, and then come back in. Three more, halfway out. Lower your right hip, lift, in for two, and one. Oh, dismount. Okay, not my favorite thing to do. We're gonna step off, walk around to the other side. Then once we get to the other side, same thing. I'm gonna take my right foot onto the foot bar. Again, a little external rotation. So my heel is more to the side. My right toes are right on the top of the foot bar. Left hand goes to the shoulder block furthest away from you, right hand goes onto the carriage at the edge, it's in line with your left, ready? We're gonna step up, your left leg goes in front of your right. We're gonna press out, hips are parallel to the floor, lift your chest, look through, and then tuck, come back in. So again, when we press out, the hips are parallel to the floor, we reach our chest through our arms, and then we come back in, four more. Three, two, ooh, and one. Okay, come back in. Give yourselves a little break. Into our twist. We're going about half way out next time. Again, not my favorite exercise, but somebody asked for it, so you're gonna get. You're gonna take your right foot back on, Left hand on that shoulder block, right hand to the edge. Left leg goes in front of your right. We press halfway out, pause. Dip the hip, rotate to the right, rotate your pelvis to the floor, bring it in. Halfway out. Dip, rotate right, lift your pelvis, bring it back in. Let's go. Three, two, And one. Oh, okay. Step off for a second. We are going to go ahead and put our foot bars all the way up to the starting position. We're staying on this single red spring. If you need to give your wrist a little bit of a roll, you can. We're gonna end up on, or next to our reformers, we'll end up standing on our reformers. So I'm gonna stand, face the straps. Hands are gonna be on the shoulder blocks. Step up onto your carriages. We're going onto our foot bars first. So I'm gonna take my right toes, balls of my feet onto the foot bar, and then I'm gonna either, you can get into this two ways. Either press out with your le right leg 
and step your left foot up or keep the carriage in, step your left toes up and then push out. Either way, just coming up into a plank. Legs are long, abs are in, shoulders are right over, hands to start. We're gonna push the carriage out with our arms, in, out with the arms, in. We push, pull, push, pull, abs are in, out, in. Now, the next time we come in, pause, we're gonna add in our legs. When we push the carriage out, we lift the right leg, we set it down when we come in, left leg the next time we push, down when we come in, try to keep your shoulders, hips parallel to the floor, abs are into your backs. Out, in, out, in. Let's do four, three, two, one. Tuck, step onto your carriages, and pause. Okay, woohoo! Feeling it. We're gonna go ahead, step our left foot into our headrest. My ankle is up against the shoulder blocks here. My right foot is behind me, so I have a wide stance. Carefully grab your straps into your hands. We're gonna stand up nice and tall. Long loops, as always, are lighter for our arms. Short loops are heavier. Arms are gonna reach nice and long away from us. Palms are rotated to the floor. Find your balance, I'm gonna exhale, pull my fist towards my armpits, elbows out to the sides. Inhale, extend, exhale, row up, inhale, extend. Row up, extend. Shoulders and hips are parallel to the wall in front of us. Exhale to pull, inhale, extend those arms. Find that balance. Let's go for four, three, two, one. Now once we come back, we're gonna pause, rotate your palms towards each other, pin your elbows into your sides. You're gonna bend your left leg and hinge slightly forward, right leg stays long. Tricep extensions, we're gonna press our palms back, bend the elbows, press, bend. While we're here, abs are into your backs. Press and bend, press and bend. Let's go for four. Eyes just looking forward. I had mine a little too far down the last time. Two more, and one. Okay, now once we come back, we're gonna pause. Palms flip up to the ceiling. We're gonna bend both knees this time. Sink into a little squat, hold here. Right knee does not touch the mat, touch the carriage. Bicep curls, curl, extend, exhale, curl, inhale, extend. Hold both knees bent. Right knee stays lifted, shoulders are down, collarbones are wide. Exhale, curl, inhale, extend. Let's go for four, three, two, and one. Okay, extend, pause. We're gonna take the hands onto the shoulder blocks. I'm gonna step my right foot forward into my headrest, left foot back so we have a nice wide stance. So your right ankle can be up against the shoulder block. Very carefully stand up nice and tall. One side, which this is my bad side, one side is gonna feel a little more challenging than the other. Palms to the floor, we pull up and extend. Think fists to the armpits. If you want it heavier, can choke up on your ropes. I'm actually gonna grab up onto my knotted part of my ropes for this whole series, just to make it a little heavier for my arms. Pull, extend, think pinch your shoulder blades together. All over those arms we're getting into our deltoids, traps, Biceps, we're gonna feel our lats working a little bit more. Triceps working a little bit here. Again, all over. Three, find your balance, two, and one. Now, palms rotate towards each other. I'm gonna stay choked up. We're gonna bend our right knee and hinge slightly forward. Elbows into our sides, tricep kickbacks. Press the palms back and bend. The elbows need to stay into your ribs. Your right knee stays slightly bent. Left leg stays long. Abs are in. Neck is in line with the spine. Extend, bend, extend, bend. Let's do three, two, last one. Okay, then we stand up. I'm gonna stay choked up, so my palms are gonna stay rotated towards each other. If you have the straps, flip your palms up to the ceiling. Bend both knees, your left knee does not touch carriage. Bicep curls, curl, 
and extend again shoulders are down collarbones are wide keep both knees bent keep those abs in make sure your shoulders don't get pulled forward exhale to curl inhale extend four more three two and one okay set your left knee down and then we're going to go ahead and hang our straps back up onto the pegs one more core thing here before we go into some feet and straps toes balls of our feet this time are going to go to the edge of the wooden frame we're going to drop down onto our forearms and then from here i'm going to press my legs out and i'm going to hold a plank we're going to do squats bend the knees stretch the legs bend the knees stretch the legs it's an inhale to bend and exhale to press right from those hip flexors inhale and exhale again abs are in bend stretch into that plank two more and one okay now we're gonna hold our plank for 10 seconds legs long abs in butts down four three two one bend to come down okay Whew. once we come down we're gonna move into legs we're doing single legs i'm gonna go heavier today so we're gonna keep on that one heavy spring up to if you add on a light spring with your heavy or a medium spring with your heavy i'm adding on a medium spring so i'm on one red one blue again you can go heavy light or heavy medium lie yourselves down single legs grab the right strap long loop goes onto the arch of your right foot leg is going to be straight up to the ceiling neutral spine left knee goes up into a tabletop position we're going to exhale and pull our right leg straight down towards our springs inhale hinge come back up exhale to pull straight down inhale hinge my bra line is staying heavy sacrum stays heavy drawing the abs in as we pull on our exhale and again we're just inhaling to hinge back up exhale lower inhale hinge think that right leg is right in line with your sits bones the entire time take a look at your left is that leg in line with your sits bones in parallel you don't have any external rotation of your knees or your toes exhale to pull inhale hinge try to get that heart rate down backs of the legs into the glutes i'm going to go for two more and then last one and up now once i come up leg is going to go down to a little lower than a 45 bend both knees into an external rotation so both toes knees are put out to the sides of the room just your right leg presses out for single leg frogs we bend we exhale the press and we inhale to bend making sure that that right hip is staying in line with the left so it doesn't drop down when we press it doesn't elevate when we lift or when we bend press out and in last one out and in now both knees parallel push that right leg out one time hold grab onto your shoulder blocks if you want a little extra stability right leg goes down we open it slightly out to the side to circle around and back up we go down we circle it around and back up the left hip stays heavy that movement comes right from the head of the femur in our hip socket let's do two last one then once we come up we're going to pause same thing reverse we go out down around and hinge not same thing we reverse out down around and hinge back up a little more challenging in that direction that left hip stays heavy feel those adductors working to bring the legs together two more and then last one okay once we come up pause i'm going to set my left foot down on the floor you can go floor wooden platform or foot bar stretch out your right leg the stretch is up to you you guys can go hamstrings can go adductors can go abductors with the leg across the body you can do a little figure four stretch 
You can do quads, hip flexors. I will leave it up to you to stretch. We're breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Again, the left foot is just wherever you feel comfortable. Okay, we're gonna take that strap off, hang it up, same thing on the other side. Grab your long loop, it goes onto your foot. Leg is up just as high as we can hold our neutral spine. Right knee tabletop. We're gonna exhale, pull our left leg straight down. Bra line stay heavy. We inhale to hinge back up. Exhale to pull down, inhale hinge. A neutral spine the entire time. Exhale lower, inhale hinge. Again, I'm keeping my leg right in line with my sits bones. My right leg is staying parallel. So it's not wandering off to the side. Back of the leg into the glute. Exhale down. Inhale up. And I'm engaging my core as always on every single exhale. Pull and hinge. All right, now on this last one, 45, bend the knees, heels together, toes are turned apart. Just the left leg goes out and in for single leg frogs. And the idea is that that pelvis is staying nice and still. Right knee stays turned out to the side. Inhale, bend, exhale, stretch. Keeping our pelvis stable. Feeling those adductors working here for frogs and our thighs. Let's go for two. Then on this last one, we hold both legs are parallel. Again, I'm gonna grab onto my shoulder blocks. Left leg is long. We lower it a little further down without the right hip lifting. We open our left leg slightly out to the side, circle around back up. We exhale to pull down. We circle it around and up. Exhale, lower. Inhale around and back up. Again, that right hip stays heavy. Movement comes right from the head of the femur in that hip socket. Last one. Then once we come up, pause, reverse, out, down, around, and hinge. Again, a little more challenging in that direction. Feeling our adductors working a little more in our thighs. Keep that right hip anchored. Bra line stay heavy. Two, and one. Okay, then once we come up, right foot down wherever you feel comfortable, and then you can stretch out your left leg. It is up to you, you don't have to hold your neutral spine. You can pull, stretch out your hamstring, you can open it out to the side, do those adductors across the body, IT bands, abductors, or you can do a little figure four or quad and hip flexor stretch again. Up to you, we're breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. This is the last stretch. Okay, then we're gonna take that strap off of our foot. Hang it back up onto the peg. We'll sit ourselves off to the sides. You are all finished. I hope you enjoyed that intermediate advanced workout. Thank you so much for joining me.